you back here on the show. So much fun. Evan, Jeremy Irons in that red chair behind us. Jeremy, of course, as we talked about working in the past with Cronenberg, the idea of collaboration between Dead Ringers around Butterfly. Uh, also, Cronenberg has a relationship with Viggo Mortensen, and many people have that. But what do you do when your collaboration extends beyond the work, also to the home? There are lots of you out there who deal with this all the time, going to work with the person that you happen to be in a relationship with. Sometimes it's because you met them there. Oftentimes, it just worked out that way. I'd like to pretend that sometimes it's a good idea, but it rarely is. We're gonna get into that tonight. On the panel! <laughs> Uh, oh my God, we have our members of the Deers here with us tonight. Natalia's <laughs> here, Murray's here. They're not only in a band together, but they're also, well, they're in life, long life relationships together as well. And my life partner, at least for this next five to six minutes, Ali Hassan. Oh, so good to hear. So good to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, what is the most challenging thing about working with your partner? Forget the fact he's across the table from you. <laughs> Well, there's no babysitting, right? Yeah. Usually it's like you can pass the baby off to, you know, it's like, oh, well, the other person will, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna play the keyboards. Yeah. And with it? the baby in <laughs> children in our hands. That would be tough. It's you're not very rock and roll. You're playing very, it's just very melody. Or how, about the, how about the best things about working with your partner? Well, there's, you know, it's very convenient <laughs> on many levels. <laughs> what does you, that mean? Well, uh, you know, on tour, it's very convenient. <laughs> Do I have to spell it it's out? It's just really coach? easy to get her in your tour bus, is what you're saying. Because <laughs> it's her tour bus, too. Yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> Actually, it's not that I'm easy. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you, and so being with your family is your favorite part of working with. When you're yeah. on the road, though, do you try to incorporate your wife in your life? Uh, in my jokes, yes. I mock them mercilessly because I know they're not going to hear about it, right? <laughs> Uh, there's no ears on the ground in Halifax, so it's nice. What do nice. you do if, you're, if your partner, if your wife says, hey, you know what, I think me and, and uh, my family, your in-laws, I think we want to come see the show tonight. Yeah, it's happened. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of scribbling out notes and saying, okay, I'll replace these words with this word, and uh, the word mother-in-law has to be replaced by friend's mother-in-law and right. things like that, you know? I'm, a, I'm used to thinking on the fly, it works out. My wife is, is always with me in a sense, you know, even though we're not on stage, it's like she's always there yelling, be funnier, the kids need new shoes, be funnier. <laughs> so it's like her presence is always felt. What's the one thing that you couldn't do with her professionally, the one kind of job that you wouldn't be good at? Well. Uh like Amazing Race, yeah. we could oh. not do Amazing Race Oh my together. God. <laughs> what, what would happen? Well, first of all, sh I mean, no offense, I love you, but the <laughs> navigational skills. I have a terrible, it's just, my intuition is It's is just awful. brutal. A buddy of mine was, uh, was trying to get to, uh, traffic directions with his girlfriend in the car, and they had such a big fight over that um, they decided to break up in the car, so he got out of the car and started walking away, but the traffic jam was so bad that every three seconds, <laughs> She would look over and he'd be walking, fuming, and it went on for almost two kilometers. Where he was just. Until they got, they got back together and just passed Young and Shepard. <laughs> All right, stick around more after this, including who they actually want to work with. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience and it's a lot of fun. It's even better too, because my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. Program. We have uh, this conversation about working with your partners, too. We have partners here today. We have Murray Lightburn and Natalia Yanchuk from The Deers. Murray's got a solo record as well called Master Light, but they've collaborated on another project for us. If you go to strombo.com, they've got a list of fall reads that you've got to check out on this program. Is there somebody you really do wish you could work with, somebody you want to collaborate with? We have a joke that Will Wheaton is my crush, my, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. But I don't know, what, what do you collaborate? What do you collaborate, like, with an actor I mean, there on, are ways. like? Yeah. There are ways. But how do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to score a, a short play he did, like that kind of thing? <laughs> oh, I want to score his short oh, play. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, let me ask you. Here we go. There you go. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> what about you? Somebody you want to work with? Um, you know, I'm going to just say that I wouldn't change a Oh, thing. stop oh, it. Man, it's awesome. Go to hand for the panel, everybody. Natalia Yanchuk with the Deers. Uh, she's online, nataliayanchuk.com. 
for her writing. Murray Lightburn, Murray A. Lightburn, also with the Deers. This solo album is so great. It's called Mass to Light. If you go to Stravo.com, you actually can see uh, and listen to uh, the, the time that he spent with us as he joined us on the radio show. He brought his guitar, and it was super fun. And Ali Hassan collaborates with our heart each and every day. It's always an honor to be with you, Glorious Nation. What's in the book today? Good things, Canada. Yeah.